Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today for this IMF UG mini showcase where we showcase IMF tools and workflows. Uh, today, we're joined by John Hurst from CineCert and Lance Moore from CineFilm. So, Lance, what uh, brings uh, you here today? Thanks for that introduction, Pierre. Good to see you. Um, basically, I'm here to let folks know that Pixel Strings uh, is going to have its IMF feature live in the SAS next month. This is something we've been working on for quite some time. I, I think the big vision that John and I have been working towards uh, to get to this point is trying to make these two technologies easily accessible uh, for more and more people. Uh, what we do on our side is extremely complex media transformation in picture and sound and all these things. What John does is extremely detailed and putting these two things together and automating uh, an API driven you know, superset of technologies that's easy to understand, uh, making people be able to eat create more and more IMFs, that's really the goal together. And so John, um, what can you tell us about Anini, this other part of this collaboration? Uh, so Anini is our, our framework for automated processing, um, and we use it in a variety of contexts, both in IMF and DCP. Uh, and so for the Pixel Strings project, we have configured it to work as a, a, an IMF assembly robot that can pick up JPEG 2000 uh, wave files and, and uh, TTML that are created by pixel strings and put them into the uh, IMF wrapper and perform validation and so forth. And so I heard you earlier mention the cloud in the context of pixel strings. Is pixel strings cloud and on-prem? Is it cloud only? Yeah, um, pixel strings was originally designed for the cloud. And then we realized pretty quickly we we're going to have to provide hybrid on-prem uh, solutions to our customers. So uh, we built it initially for the cloud. Uh, we did a lot of heavy lifting for back-end compute management and front-end financial management. Uh, and then we ported it to on-prem so that basically uh, customers can use it on either in either location. Um, our, our integration with Anini um, in the API enables either someone on-prem with an Anini system to send content to the Anini system or uh, we have a direct integration in the cloud so that, um, and that that is a true SaaS. So basically pay as you go. And in that instance, we actually manage uh, John's licenses. Have you found IMF to be relatively easy to use in the cloud? Any advantages, drawbacks? Uh, well, there are no disadvantages, certainly. Um, being uh, sort of object-like uh, um, in its uh, data model, um, IMF is a perfect match for, for cloud computing. It works really well in object stores, for example. Uh, or in situations where a file system would be bulky or, or unmanageable. Um, and be, the way that the media is uh, split up and separated from metadata um, helps uh, to uh, uh, create processes that are efficient. Um, and the full data model for the media means there's less extra material to drag around if you want to process IMF just for some purpose. All the metadata you already need is there, so it's kind of a built-in uh, uh, capability that eliminates the need to construct what would be yet another API for representing media uh, encoding information. And um, how did you you and Lance get together? Oh, it's been so long. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> anymore. I, think. <laughs> I think it was uh, an, an NAB about six years ago. That All sounds right. about right. Yeah. We contacted. Uh, and, uh, Netflix had just started to make noise about IMF as a deliverable, uh, which was uh, a, really important, I think, for the industry to start to actually pay attention. And Cinefilm was was uh, interested in the topic, and we were lucky enough to have a booth there that year. What's, in your mind, the biggest upside and downside of IMF? Well, the, the biggest upside of IMF is that it allows you to do more work with fewer resources than any other uh, methodology for working. Uh, the downside is that the complexity uh, involved in getting to take advantage of that um, is considerable. There's a big learning curve. And today there is uh, very little in the way of integrated systems uh, that one could do complete IMF media workflow on. So there's uh, quite a bit of assembly of pieces and so forth. And if you're a big motion picture studio, you can afford to, to glue together uh, all of the pieces from various manufacturers and custom code in order to create a complete system. But if you are a, a humble uh, small studio or uh, an independent filmmaker, that kind of capability hasn't really been available uh, but is now starting to become available in services like Pixel Strings. Well, thank you, John. And thank you, Lance, also. And uh, if you look at the comments, you'll find links to both uh, CineFilm and CineCert. 
And uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments, reach out directly to John and Lance. And thank you very much again uh, for joining us today for this uh, mini showcase on IMF. And um, talk to you all soon. Thanks, Pierre.